today, and we're continuing our conversation now. Rejoining us is Congressman John Micah from Florida. Uh, we are talking about the announcement just coming uh, from the state dining room at the White House. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel announcing he has handed in his resignation. That resignation has been accepted by President Obama. And Congressman, before we went away for the commercial break, you were saying this is a convenient way for the Obama administration to dump Chuck Hagel. You, you believe that this is the administration trying to, to push him aside, not Chuck Hagel saying he's had enough? Uh, oh, definitely. Uh, I think that, uh, in fact, he had most recently said he was uh, interested in serving out, you know, his uh, last two years. He's only been there two years. He's, he's done as good a job as you can, and uh, I think the president has av avoided his counsel found his counsel that has been publicly enunciated uh, contradictory to the direction the administration is taking. Again, you have to go back to uh, the president calling uh, ISIS the uh, JV team and downgrading its, uh, its uh, threat. He didn't want it uh, to look uh, too bad. Uh, and Chuck Hagel said it was one of the greatest uh, uh, threats that we faced uh, so that was the one contradiction. Most recently on the Ebola uh, situation, we have been sending troops over there, administration pack in the place with uh, our troops, and members of Congress felt that, uh, well, they're the easiest to control, that they should have the 21-day quarantine when they come back from these areas, observe them. Uh, I know the administration did not favor that. He instituted after our hearing. So um, I think uh, there's been uh, uh, sort of a constant uh, underlying rub with uh, what uh, Chuck's direction has been and what the White House, uh, the direction the White House wants to go. Now, we, we can't really expect this administration to try and send a message to Republicans on Capitol Hill based on what we've seen in the past. But if he were to do that, who would be a choice to replace Chuck Hagel that you would say, you know, Mr. President, that's a smart choice. Give us a couple names. Uh, got, you got me on that one. <laughs> I thought Chuck Hagel uh, was a good choice. Uh, he is a Republican. Um, he's done a good job. Um, they're using the excuse, too, of uh, now we're standing down in Afghanistan. There will be residual, a different type of, of approach there. But, um, again, that's going to be the president's choice. He's going to have to get it by a Republican-controlled uh, uh, Senate, so... Hopefully, uh, it will be someone who's uh, strong uh, on the, uh, again, on uh, the, the defense side. We've got incredible challenges. This ISIS uh, situation is very, very tough. Uh, Daryl Issa and I were just uh, three, four weeks ago over in uh, Iraq and met with the new leadership there, checked out what's going on. We'll con continue our oversight. I think the stand-up was going fairly well, and Chuck had led a lot of that. And uh, I don't think this is a good time to change uh, uh, that leadership. In fact, I think it's a very poor time to change that. But uh, we do have good military. We've given them the mission. Uh, we do need uh, leadership to cover their back, though, and uh, hopefully we'll get that in place soon. Well, we don't know how things are going to turn out when the Senate confirmation hearings proceed with President Obama's selection to replace Eric Holder. We don't know who the nominee is going to be to replace uh, Chuck Hagel, but do you foresee a contentious uh, confirmation process in the Senate with whomever the president chooses? No, I think, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Republicans will closely scrutinize. They've got uh, control uh, now. They have more than the 51 votes. Uh, they may play some games with uh, cloture and some other things, but we'll see. Uh, but I think it's going to have to be someone in both of those positions. I mean, Eric Holder never should have had the position in the first place, and uh, He's misused and abused the position. Uh, he's the first attorney general held in contempt. Uh, just, uh, just a horrible uh, uh, history of his. Uh, I tell you what, Congressman, we got to step aside for a short commercial break. I'm going to ask you to stick around because we want to talk to you as well, uh, aside from the Hegel stuff, about this Benghazi House uh, Committee report that came down on Friday. Don't want to let that one slip through the cracks. Congressman John Micah, please stick around. Back with us much more here on America's Forum right after this.